Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I wanted to do a video about the Outer Worlds. Um, so, here is a video about the Outer Worlds. This is Xbox One version, guys. Xbox One X, uh, to be precise. That's what I'm going to be talking about. Um, if you didn't already know, the Outer Worlds is brought to us by, uh, well, the two directors behind this project, this game, are Tim Kane, who is creator of the Fallout series, and Leonard, I'm going to try not to butcher his surname here, Leonard Boyoski, or Boyoski at Sky. Um, yeah, Leonard brought us, or he was behind a Fallout and Fallout 2. He did a lot of the art, I think, for Fallout, and he was behind a lot of the story... Um, and gameplay in Fallout 2. And I'm pretty sure both of them had something to do with Fallout New Vegas as well. But don't quote me on that. But I'm pretty sure they did. But anyway. My lovely wife bought me Game Pass for the Xbox um, a week or two ago. And this game is currently free on there. I say free. All, all games are part of Game Pass. They're all free if you like. You pay a subscription. And you can just download any of the games in the list. And... Play them till your heart's content. So this is early footage, guys. There's no spoilers, okay? There's no spoilers at all. I'm just wandering around, just showing you the general gameplay. Apologies for the quality. I've used the Windows 10 Xbox app. I uh, haven't used my capture card for this, as you can probably tell. So the frame rate doesn't look the best in this video, but in-game, on the Xbox One X, the game, it's beautiful in places. It really is. The art style actually reminds me quite a bit of No Man's Sky in places, especially the colours, the colour scheme. Um, but for you guys who haven't played this and you're wondering, uh, is this like Fallout? Uh, yes, it is. I'd say, I'd say it is, yes. It's more refined than Fallout 4 was on release. I'm having far more fun with this than I did with Beth Bethesda's game. Um... There's, it's a deep game, it's, obviously it's an RPG, it's an, or an action RPG, um, it's entirely first person guys, you don't, you can't toggle between third person and first person like you can in Fallout, in Fallout 4, um, that's not a bad thing, I very rarely switch to third person, when I do play Fallout and, and the Elder Scrolls games, I always stay in first person, what I will say about, uh, um, I nearly called this The Outer Limits. Do you remember that program, that show? I used to love that when I was a kid. I'm probably showing my age. Outer Worlds. Um, what I do love about it, the main thing I love about this game is the story and the characters and the voice acting. It, everything is just so... I'm not going to say realistic, that's the wrong word, but everything is its so engrossing. I, I, I'm, I can't wait to progress from to the next stage, to the next part, to the next quest line i'm constantly interested when i played fallout i keep mentioning fallout 4 guys i'm comparing it to fallout 4 not earlier fallout i loved fallout 3 and fallout new vegas fallout 4 i thought was okay um but compared to fallout 4 um it's just a better game like i say that the the choices that you make in this have huge impacts on factions that you will come across um factions will like you They'll hate you, depending on what you do. You literally can kill any NPC you come across in this game. I've actually done it earlier today. I actually killed... I didn't have enough persuasion points to progress on a quest, so I killed the NPC. Um, I'm actually playing the game as a bit of a rogue. As um, I'm playing the game as a horrible person, basically. Just for lols, just for giggles, because I always play as Mr. Nice Guy. I thought for once I'm going to play as, yeah, a bit of a bastard. And, uh, yeah, I killed the NPC, and I could still progress, man. I could still progress in the story. L like I say, I won't give spoilers, but basically I was able to go back to the person who gave me the quest and tell them that I found the corpse of that person that I killed, and, uh, yeah, the quest still continued. And I was like, yeah, this is cool. Because in some games in the past, you'd kill an NPC by accident or whatever, and it could bug side quests and that kind of thing. 
that doesn't happen with this. You can play it how you want. You've got a lot of freedom in the choices that you that you make. So yeah, gunplay is much tighter and more satisfying than it was in Fallout 4. I, I remember reading someone say that the gunplay and that's exactly the same as Fallout. It's not. It's it's better in this, guys. Don't don't go expecting um you know Battlefield or Modern Warfare kind of first person shooter because you're not going to get that. But it is good. You can freeze time. Um, so it's it's a kind of similar to the VAT system you get in Fallout. Um, it's not as deep as the VAT system though. You basically can just freeze time by hitting the RB right bumper or the R1 button on P on PS4, and it will freeze time for. A limited amount of time depending on how much you've leveled that skill that trait so yeah it's really cool um leveling your character is streamlined in this it's extremely accessible um although some rpg fanatics might argue that it's a little too simplistic for their tastes i'm fine with it i love the leveling in this it's great i'm i'm having fun with it um so as the title of the video says game of the year question mark yes this is probably my game of 2019 so far um it kind of flew under the radar i feel there was little fanfare probably because death stranding was being released just a few weeks later and that was always going to hog the limelight there i mean there was no i didn't think there was anyway i don't think it was a big fuss about this game it's reviewed well it's reviewed very well actually across the board and going from the subreddit, the Outer World subreddit, everyone seems to love it in there. And rightly so, guys. It's a good game. Now, it doesn't reinvent the wheel. You can't go into this game expecting stuff you've never seen before. But it does everything you've seen before extremely well. I suppose that's the best way to describe this game. So, if you love the Fallout Universe, Skyrim games... I say the Skyrim games, the Elder Scroll games... Um, like Skyrim, Oblivion, Morrowind. It's that kind of thing, um, but it does everything really well. I haven't come across a, a many bugs. All I would say if I had some grumbles was I get a bit of stick drift on the Xbox One version. I Google searched that issue. Other people are having it. Basically, if I just leave the controller alone, my screen or my character drifts slightly to the right without me touching anything. I have to keep um steady in him and you there's no dead zone settings in the pause menu so you can't do anything about it i'm hoping that the patch next week we're, we're supposed to be getting an update next week i hope that will address that and also i find the loading times quite lengthy for a game in 2019 and this is on xbox one x which usually does speed up your loading times or or so I've read. I've read on the Pro on, on and on the X your loading times can be slightly quicker i'm not finding that i'm finding them to be quite a drag they're my two grumbles, guys. The, I've got to touch on the music score. It's so atmospheric. The, the music in this is, is gorgeous at times. I love wearing headphones in this game and just soaking in the atmosphere. And exploring. This game rewards you for exploring, guys. It really does. I thought it belongs on, this, on, on my channel because of all of you survival game, um, survival game addicts, I'm going to call you, because that's what you are. Um, I think you should consider this, guys, because there's a lot of exploring to do, and you've got to survive out there in the wilderness, and there's lots of nasties out there to try and kill you. Um, but yeah, guys, this game, it's a gem. It's my game of the year, so far. Remember, we're not, we haven't hit Christmas Eve yet. I always, my closing date is December 24th. If I get to December, not that any games are ever released on Christmas Eve, but it's just, that is just my marker if we get to there and if we get to christmas eve and there isn't a game that i prefer this will be on my game of the year list this will win it so there you go guys outer worlds not the outer limits the outer worlds go and check it out it's awesome as always thank you for watching hit me up a like please subscribe enjoy the rest of your weekend take care